Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Killinger here. Another, uh, well, it was a nice day here in Ohio. Now it's a little rainy, but whatever, it's spring, we gotta expect that. Before we get into today's video, I wanna go ahead and pick a winner for our super clean giveaway. If you guys remember a couple videos ago, or the last real video, um, I mentioned if you left a comment down below, you would have a chance to win some products from Super Clean. The folks at Super Clean uh, asked me if I wanted to do a giveaway on my channel, and I thought that it was a, a great opportunity for one of my subs to get some products from them. So let's go ahead and pick a winner for that and get that out of the way. So all we do is go to cometpicker.com, and we will paste in our video URL and click on get youtube comments there were 76 comments on that video click start raffle and james grooves just ordered a couple of new couple of the new axes thanks ck my email is in the description below drop me an email and i'll get you in contact with super clean asap congratulations james Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and thank you for watching if you stuck around this long. Um, I just want to talk about a couple things in the video because most of the video I, I wasn't talking or I don't think any of it. Um, I, I, I'm not sure how much footage I shot of how many times this head went on and off the handle. I get a lot of guys who have trouble, they break the Fawn's foot when they're hanging an ax. Um, it's because you don't remove enough wood to seat your head. You need to, you need to almost get your head on um, by hand to its final resting spot before you ever seat it. So that's one tip. Just don't be afraid to keep taking a little bit off at a time and uh, test fitting your head. You can never do it enough. I never hit the handle until I was ready to seat it. Um, so that's a that's a tip. Yeah, the other tip is. If you watch in the video, you'll see I did break the wedge going in. Uh, a couple reasons I think that happened. One, I don't have any wood glue. Normally I use wood glue on my wedges. Uh, it helps do two things in my mind. One, it lubricates the wedge, so helping it uh, slide in easier. And two, it helps keep the wedge in once it's in. So uh, I didn't have any wood glue. I don't like to use boiled linseed oil to seat my wedges. I've had them pop back out using that. So I went in dry, which isn't ideal. It did work, but I, I, I don't particularly care for that. The other thing is I probably could have taken that wedge down a little bit more. It was a little thick. So either that or I could have removed a little bit more wood from the eye to allow room for the wedge. Probably should have just taken the wedge down a little bit. But overall, it turned out fantastic. The overall length on this bad boy came right in at 27 inches. Um, so pretty nice. I, I really like these Adirondack cruiser handles. I wish I had more cruiser heads to hang. I think this is the only one I have that's not hung. I may redo some that I have here. But um, I can't wait to swing this. There will be more to this video later on. I'm not going to finish the handle right now because I have a uh, I have something coming up. Well, I'll just say it. It's not really a secret. I'm going to be selling my snake juice. <laughs> Some of you know what that is. Some of you don't. Well, you will soon enough. I'll, I'll be announcing that here in a future video. I'm currently working on finalizing the formula and... Uh, the packaging so but I want to finish this handle with the snake juice um, just for a final test and then we'll uh, probably shoot another video on setting the bevels on this axe I'm gonna set the bevels and sharpen it uh, the, set it up the way I want it and then I might do a video on making a mask for it we'll see or a, a full cover sheath probably being a double bit like this and then uh, ultimately I'd like to shoot a video on using it. Uh, I really do like cruiser handle or axes. I think they're really cool. So we'll take this bad boy out and uh, use it. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Man, that thing's nice.